Hello everyone, welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss about before all and after all Jasmine functions. In the previous video, we have discussed about before each and after each Jasmine function. So before proceeding with this video, I recommend you please watch uh, part 14 of this tutorial series. So let's understand what is the before all and after all. So before all as the name says like it execute only once like one so like before executing all the test case this before all run at a time and after all like once all the execution done this uh, after all run so let's understand it with an example in the visual studio so let's go to the visual studio and this is the previous example which we are working so here like we, before we use as a uh, before each after each and we are having the two uh, like unit test cases so as we have discussed in the previous video before each run in before the each test case and similar to that after each like it run after the each test cases and similar we can see on the browser like after first is before each then test one after each then before each test two after each now let's create before all so before all function so before all function and inside this one I am going to take a console log as a before all so let's take before all and similar to this one I am going to take after all and here I am going to write it as a after all and here I am going to write as a after all so before all and after all runs only once as per the described suit like basically for pursuit so so in the in one suit this before all run at the first time then at last for one suit it run at the last so let's save it and see on the browser so let's see it once And here we can see like first of all it is running before all and the last it is running for the after all so that is the difference between before all and after all like before all runs at the first time and after all run at the last of the execution of every block of the describe so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you